You don't have to have little sachets or sachets <laughs> or Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to dive into some of my current eco-friendly reusable products. All right, so first up is something that I feel like I don't really see anyone using or talking about. And I don't know why, because it's fantastic. I don't know how much sense it makes to everybody. That's probably why. Uh, but being in an apartment and wanting to save on my water bill and just, you know, not have to worry about like always filtering my water and everything, I've really gotten into reusable ice cubes. Now, unfortunately, when I bought these, I didn't quite realize that they were um, durable plastic with water on the inside that just, that you can just refreeze, but I probably should have gotten these, they ha they make steel reusable ice cubes and I probably should have done those. But even though these use plastic, I like that I don't have to keep wasting water all the time when I want ice. I just take these out, put them in my drink, my drink stays cold, and then I don't even have like any of my drinks getting diluted. Like they'll just turn to a normal temperature once these stop being frozen. But yeah, then you can just put them back in the freezer. It's awesome. I've really been loving these and you get so many in a pack for like $3. <laughs> I feel like it was definitely less than $5 at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something. So yeah, I really think these are a great investment and can really help you on not wasting so much water. If you can get past the plastic coating, or you know get the steel ones then i think you'd be set oh you know what i think they also make stone ones uh so that the stone just gets really cold but yeah i haven't tried any others yet but these are thumbs up new hot favorite for me so the next thing to go along with the whole drink situation that i've been loving is obviously a reusable water bottle and i mean I have tons, tons. I have a whole cabinet full of just reusable bottles and that's because I have bottles for different kinds of drinks. So I have steel ones that keep stuff hot and cold for, you know, excess of like 10 hours. I have this new one that I posted about on my Instagram that's double walled glass. And I just, I love them. I love taking them with me. I love that you can use straws with them still and the great thing is when you go places most places will accept you uh using your own cup now so you don't have to use the plastic ones that they're giving you which i love and then to go with my bottles if you've been following me on instagram then you would know I am obsessed with reusable straws and taking them with me everywhere. And I have been using two kinds now. And I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of each because I do think there is a difference, at least for me. And that's why it took me so long to kind of branch out and get both kinds. Uh, so first off, I have glass straws and they come straight. I have the two straight ones here in both types, but they also come with like the bend, like if it was a bendy straw. And what I love about the glass straws is there's no weird taste with them. I was really concerned about getting steel straws because I didn't want it to keep, I didn't want it to have that weird metallic taste. So I invested in glass straws first. And I love these things. They have a very wide opening. So it's kind of like if you've ever had like a slurpy, slushy kind of thing, or even maybe like a very thick smoothie, you get those very wide, thick straws. That's what the glass straws are like. And they're just, I can't explain it. They're so easy to clean. I love that they're see-through, you don't, there's no surprises, there's no mold or anything that's gonna be growing in them. They're very easy to clean because of that wide opening. So yeah, it's lifesaver. Love these so much. 
And then I finally invested in a set of steel straws. And like I mentioned before, I was really concerned about that metallic taste. These do not have that metallic taste. So I don't know what kind of straws I had used before, but those were terrible. These ones I just got off of Amazon for less than $5, I think. And I've been in love with them. They have that like iridescent, like mermaid rainbow type of color going on. And they came in multiple sizes. So the glass straws were kind of like this one generic, like very tall size. And then the steel straws, this is actually their shorter size. They have very long ones and they also have the bendy straw look. And these are great because these are, you know, more of your small opening, unlike the glass straws. So these are great for all your like typical regular drinks. And they're, these are the ones that I take when I go out and that I keep in my purse because they are much more um, space saving than the glass straws. Also, you don't have to worry about the glass straws then breaking in a bag or whatever. You can just uh, have the steel straws and they've been great. And both, you know, they don't like warm up your drink. They, like everything stays cold in them. So it's not like some weird uh, texture and or temperature, I should say. And the other thing is the ends are so smooth. So it's not even on on the glass and even on the steel straw. So it's not something that like, you're gonna be cutting your lips on or anything. They're just so handy. I love reusable straws. Use them at home, use them on the go, use them wherever. There's just no need to use plastic straws unless you forget them when you're out, which happens to me quite often, unfortunately. So, with that, uh, my latest favorite thing, which I kind of mentioned with the reusable water bottles, is reusable containers. So I'm fortunate enough to be in a community where there's a lot of like farmers markets and local businesses, and they really support like bringing your own containers for packages. So what I love is like for food, I just have this, you know, lunch kit. Um, I'm hoping to get like a bamboo set in the future um, because I do hate that these are plastic, even if they were, you know, it says that they're like recyclable plastic or made with recyclable materials. I would still rather have something more sustainable, but you know, since I work full time, these are perfect for taking my lunches and just have been like amazing. So I also will take these or uh, sometimes I have some of the like paper containers from other restaurants or something that I'll reuse. And I bring those to the markets and ask people to package my food in them. And then you don't have that excess waste. The same with, you know, like my reusable grocery bag. And more importantly, what I've been getting into and is my new favorite is reusing bottles. And I don't mean like bottles just for like, you know, your water bottle that you're taking around and drinking with you at the moment. I mean like bottles for actual reusable drinks that you're going to like store later in your fridge or whatever, so that you don't have to buy it in the container that's at the store. I understand at like a typical conventional grocery store, that's not going to be possible. You obviously can't just buy, you, you know, like a drink in bulk per se, but at like a coffee shop or like for me, this is locally brewed kombucha. I love that they will accept a reusable bottle. So I actually initially bought this bottle, glass bottle off of them. And then week to week, I just bring it back. I clean it out, bring it back and they will refill it for me. And I think that's awesome. I think that's great so that you don't even have all of these excess jars or bottles piling up in your cabinets, in your fridge, just going to waste. You can just keep reusing the ones that you already have. So I would definitely advocate for checking if your local businesses will accept that. And yeah, it's just, it's great. 
and it's so helpful. Uh, my next favorite, I'm a big, huge coffee drinker, which again, if you follow me on Instagram or anywhere, you know that I'm obsessed. And this is actually for tea, but you can use it for coffee. And I have a reusable coffee filter in my uh, big coffee pot. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about reusable filters because I feel like that's another thing along with like the reusable ice cubes that doesn't get brought up too often, but I think it's a great, I think they're great little tools for, you know, helping out the environment and just creating less waste. So this infuser, this uh, strainer actually goes with this, actually goes with this bottle, but I have another one that's uh, a steel, bottle and it has a strainer built into it and you know you would think that you can only use these for tea or whatever or infusing your water which is part of it but i've used them for like french press so i think that's awesome you just put up your grind coffee grounds and then steep some like keep pouring water over top or just put it into hot water and it's a great alternative. And then for my coffee pot, it's fantastic because I can just keep reusing that. You just wash it, you just rinse it out and you're good to go. And I think that is super nifty. I think everyone could benefit from these, you know, especially if you are someone with like tea or whatever, you know, you don't have to have little sachets or sachets <laughs> or anything for your tea you can just use these reusable strainers and they're so lovely now those are all kind of you know things that you have at home and stuff uh what i mentioned that you could use out was obviously the straws and then another find that i've been loving when i go out you know having a reusable bag is great for groceries and all but what i've really gotten into lately is reusable produce bags. And these are, these ones I got at the grocery store for like a couple dollars. It was like a set of three and these are Earthwise brand. They're pretty big. I have yet to find anything that doesn't fit in them. Uh, you can wash them, you can dry them. You can, they have a nice drawstring. I haven't had anything that falls out. I have even crammed like the biggest of lettuce and cabbage heads. Oh, and even collard, collard leaves in here. You know, it will fit. And I just, these are my like prized find. I just, I saw people online using them and I, then I was walking through the store and stumbled upon them and I was like, I need these. And I just love them because you don't have to just use them at the grocery store. I know a lot of people will use them at uh, bulk stores. I don't have any bulk stores by me, but like I said, I have all those small businesses and local markets and outdoor markets and these come in so handy. You know, even if you don't wanna look at this from I'm helping like an, a perspective of I'm helping the environment. Think of it as like making your life easier because seriously, I was carrying around those reusable grocery bags and stuff, but they get filled really quickly with the amount of produce and everything that I buy. And so I would go up to these places and then everything would be given to me loose and I would come home and then some of my stuff was kind of squashed and all mixed together. And, you know, the other problem was because some of these places are so local and they're also trying to reduce waste, they wouldn't even have bags. Like there would be nothing. And so if I forgot or didn't bring a big enough reusable bag with me that day, I'm that person walking around the market with a, an armful of things like falling out off the side <laughs> every few steps that I take. And so, <laughs> These have helped exponentially eliminating that problem alone. So even if I didn't have enough space in like my big bag and I just wanted to carry my purse or whatever, I can just take these little produce bags, fill them up and I'm good to go. And I just think they're so nifty and 
you know, talk about space saving, not just with the produce or like whatever that you're putting into them, but I have gone places, like I said, where if I don't take my big reusable bags, grocery bags, if I just wanted to take this into my purse, are you kidding me? Like they take up no space whatsoever. So I have these on me at all times. Like I actually had to go fish this like out of my bag uh, to show you guys because I just don't go anywhere without them. I will come back, take my food out into my fridge, empty it into my fridge or whatever I put in here. And then these go right back in my reusable bag or purse because I just can't be without them now. They're just fantastic. And I've used them at the grocery store. I've used them pretty much anywhere. If there's a store that has stuff that I can put into it without using a plastic or paper bag, I will use those. So yeah, and I think that covers everything I've been loving that's reusable and eco-friendly right now. Like I said, I'm hoping to get into some more things like the bamboo uh, containers and I've also seen like bamboo cutlery. I've also seen those reusable or I think they're like recycled coconut bowls. I really want to try those too. I'm trying to just kind of move away from all my traditional means of plateware and cutlery. So yeah, hopefully I'll just eventually amass a whole hodgepodge of weird eco-friendly devices <laughs> and things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little like eco haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything, if there's any kind of like eco-friendly, reusable green products that I've missed that I definitely need to try, please let me know down below in the comments because like I said, I am down for anything. I definitely want to try. I can never have too many things. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you're notified when new videos go up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.